This is the Yorkshire Tea Stakes, a one mile four handicap, not 65, three rolls and up. Countess, 9 to 2 for Dan French. Raxman Alfie looking to double up for Jamie Hopkins, 6 to 4 favourite. Mulberry Tree for Martin Leadham, 13 to 2. Noble Eagle for Paul Parsons, 18. The Lucha Dragons for Matt Cooper, 8. Brave Spirit for Paul Parsons, 33 to 1. Dancing Moon for Nick, 12 to 1. La Ram for Matt Cooper, 7 to 1. Claritin for Obi Wan, 66. Q Corner for Nick, 66. Lily for Obi Wan, 40s. And Ulysses for Jamie Hopkins, 66 to 1. 12 go to post for this 1 mile 4, not 65. And they're off. Dancing Moon is in front on the rail with Mulberry Tree. Noble Eagle on the outside. Racked Man Alfie, the favourite, now pushing through for a good position from La Ram. And it's the favourite, Racked Man Alfie, who won last week, looking to double up here. La Ram is in second, just on that one's nose. But you've got Noble Eagle in about third. Dancing Moon on the rail in fourth. Mulberry Tree in fifth. Brave Spirit and Ulysses together in sixth and seventh with Claret in the Lucha Dragons. Countess on the inside, Lily and Q Corner at the back of the pack. They're pretty well spread out, but the front two are making the best of their way home at the moment, going towards the final nine furlongs. Uh, it's Ractaman Alfie and Laram. Ractaman Alfie is now pushed on a little bit further as Laram takes a little bit of a hold. Noble Eagle from Dancing Moon. Mulberry Tree, there's three, four, and five. Ulysses and Pro Spirit still together. Lucha Dragons has come away from the back four a little bit as the back four are spread across and they include the two uh, Obi-Wan horses, Claritin and Lily. Q Corner is out wide and Countess on the rail. Nothing caught drastically out wide as they come around the bend. There's a couple that are four wide. Q Corner, Brave Spirit are about four wide. The rest of them are probably in reasonable shape as they go into the final six furlongs as Raxman Alfie is still cantering at a reasonable pace. Nothing too quick, nothing too slow. Laram is also on that one's hind quarters. Dancing Moon has been told to get a bit closer. Ractaman Alfie has decided to kick at the five pole. This could be a little early, but we'll see what happens with the favourite here. As Ractaman Alfie is going well in front, Dancing Moon is yet to move as they reach the rising ground. And it's Ractaman Alfie from Dancing Moon. Noble Eagle, they're well spread out. It'll be interesting if they come back to the pack here. As Ractaman Alfie from Noble Eagle, Dancing Moon. Laram comes for another go. Mulberry Tree, Brave Spirit, and Ulysses, who have been field the whole way and now starting to get into this into the final three furlongs as Ractaman Alfie is making the best of the downhill sprint down towards the line Ractaman Alfie from Dancing Moon Noble Eagle, Laram Mulberry Tree, Brave Spirit, now those from the back of the pack are starting to get into it but it could be a little too late as we get towards the final furlong. Ractaman Alfie making the best of its way home. The 6-4 to four favourite is cruising out front, but here comes Noble Eagle. The favourite gives way. Noble Eagle now in front. Doesn't look like anything's going to catch it. They are coming late. Brave Spirit, Laram. Brave Spirit, Laram. Coming through the middle, Countess. Oh, it's tight as a photo. I think Noble Eagle may have held on. It could have been Countess. Who knows? Four across the track. This one's gone to the wire. Let's see. It looks like... Yes, Noble Eagle did just hold on. Noble Eagle holds on for Paul Parsons at 25-1. to 1. A cracking race, even at the lowest handicap band we will see in the league. Noble Eagle for Paul Parsons, 25-1 to 1 winner. Laram second for Matt Cooper, 9-1. Countess third for Dan French, 11-2.